Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we will discuss how to test your internet speed using Python. The internet connections in our homes and offices differ by internet service providers, ISPs, allowable traffic limit, and most importantly speed. So what do we do when we want to test the speed of our connection? Correct. We go on Google and look up some speed testing websites and proceed there. How about trying to test internet speed using Python from your computer in less than 10 lines of code? Let's take a look. In order to continue with examples in this tutorial, you will need to install an additional library, speedtest-cli. If you don't have it installed, please open command prompt if you're using Windows or Terminal on Mac and simply do the pip install. Just run this command and you should be good to go. It may take a little bit of time, I already have it installed, so go ahead, install speed test CLI, and let's proceed in the next section. First, we will need to create an instance of speed test class and then inspect the methods it has and discuss each of them. The source code for this library doesn't currently have a lot of detailed information about each method and their usage, so we will explore these from scratch. The next step we're going to take is find out what is actually included in the above class. In other words, we want to see what we can use and what information we can retrieve. Using the inspect library, which is pre-built in Python, let's take a look at what methods the S object has. Now let's run this code. Okay, so what we get is the list of the methods available in an instance of a speed test class. And these include download, upload, get best server, get closest servers, get servers, set mini server, and get config. Let's dive into each of these methods and see what we can use them for and what information we can retrieve. We will start with the download method. As you can probably guess from its name, this method will test the download speed of your current connection in bits. Here we would like to have our speed returned in megabits. So one megabit contains a million bits, so we would need to divide the return from this method by a million. Now let's run this code.
perfect here we got a return that my current download speed is 14.76 megabits The next method that we will discuss is upload. This method is similar to the previous one, but tests the upload speed of your connection in bits. Now let's run this code. Perfect. We now see that my upload speed is 33.92 megabits per second. The next method is get best server. This method allows us to identify the best server that we will be testing the connection from. In general, this tends to find the best testing server that is within your region or your city. In terms of formatting, it will return a dictionary with the details of that server. Let's take a look and print those out. Now let's run this code. Okay. So what we see here is the details of the best server that was found for us. It includes its URL, latitude, longitude, uh, name of the city or the region where it is located, country, country abbreviation, um, your ISP, and some other details such as your host, latency, and so on. The next method that we will discuss is get closest servers. This method allows us to find a set of servers that are close to our location and we can use these after to do speed tests from different servers or regions. Similarly to the previous method, we will get back a dictionary, but instead of one server with details, it will be much more. Here we create a variable and store the entire dictionary but for display purposes only we'll print out the details of the first item in the dictionary Now let's run this code. Perfect. So the format of the information that we get is very similar to the one that we had before with the best server. Notice that the best server is not necessarily the closest one, yet generally they are within the same region or city. The next method that we will discuss is get servers. 
This method allows us to get information on all available servers. It works very similar to the previous methods and returns a dictionary with information of all the servers. Now let's run this code. As you can see, it returns a massive dictionary with the data on every server that is available to us. And we can choose a particular one to test our internet speed from that server. The next method that we will discuss is set mini server. This method allows us to set the speed test server by passing a URL to it instead of querying a list of servers. The server URL can be chosen from any servers that we've seen before, and the link to the list of those servers is available in my original article, but I'll also attach it under this video. So let's see how this works. And now we will need to pass the URL of our server. Again, this URL I just chose from a list that will be available to you. Now let's run this code. So now we set our mini server and here is the information after setting it up. We get its name, its URL, latency, ID, and a little bit more of the information about it. In this tutorial, we discussed how to test internet speed using Python, as well as cover the features of the speed test CLI library and showed how some parameters can be adjusted. Feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions or have suggestions for some edits. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and check out more of my Python programming content.